Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a bit of an impromptu video for you. And by a bit, I mean entirely unplanned. <laughs> Here's the thing. My UPS man just dropped off a box full of sunglasses. And a very common question that I get asked is how to find sunglasses that will fit certain face types. So because it's not often that I have a box full of sunglasses on hand, I thought that I would make this video for you today. Now, Todd and I are going to Hawaii next week by ourselves. That, that sounded fake. And it's the first time in six years that we're going on a trip without the kids. This is like bonkers. So we are doing a little bit more of an adventurous trip because we won't have the kids. We'll be hiking waterfalls, going scuba diving, and I didn't want to bring a pair of designer glasses that are $250 and up. So I ordered all lace specs. I've never owned lace specs, but I've heard really good things about them. And all the glasses that I have in here are $59 to $89. So if I were to drop them in a waterfall, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I go really hard on my glasses and majority of them have like a scratch about right here that I just have to see through in my lenses. So I have all lace specs today that I'm gonna try on for you and hopefully I can help educate you when you are looking for your next pair of sunglasses. Let's get started. When it comes to finding glasses that flatter your face perfectly, it is all about balancing proportions. Just as we balance proportions in our dress, we want to balance them in our face. So let's say that you have a more round or oval face or softer features in your face. And when I say features, I am referring to your eyebrows, your eyes, your cheekbones, jawline, nose, and lips. Each of those have lines, whether it's curved or more angular. So if you have more softer curved lines in your face, you are going to want to balance that with more strong angular lines in sunglasses. Maybe those are square or rectangular, but you just want to look for more straight lines. The same goes for the opposite. If in your face they are more angular and straight, maybe you have a square face or a diamond face, then you're gonna to wanna to balance that with more round, soft glasses. Now, some people, like myself, have a combination of features. Some of my features are more angular, while some are more round and soft. For example, I have straighter cheekbones and straighter eyes and a straighter nose, but when it comes to my jawline and my eyebrows, they are a little bit more rounded and soft. No matter how hard I try to make my eyebrows nice and straight, they are inherently just more rounded. So when it comes to finding glasses, I'm going to wanna to find a pair that also have a combination of angles and lines. All right, enough talk. Let's try these puppies on. The first pair that I have for you are called Liar Liars. I hope they're not true to their name. Okay, what do we think? Right away, I notice how big they are. Don't get me wrong, I am all for oversized sunglasses and the general rule of thumb is that you don't want them to droop below your nose. Now these ones don't, but they look too oversized on my face because they mimic the shape of my face too much. I am a diamond face, so think of like a kite, where it is longer, my cheeks are wider, and then it narrows. Well, these sunglasses are doing the exact same shape. They start wider at a cat eye, and droop down into a round. But because I have the same face shape, it is enhancing the shape and making it appear larger and longer than it actually is. Instead, these types of sunglasses would look really good on a round face, a shorter face, and it would help create more length, visual length, to that face. My face is not it. I have enough length to my face. I don't need anything making it appear even longer. So the liar liars are out. The next pair of glasses I have for you are called Beautiful Strangers. They are this pretty matte green with some gold detailing on top. And they are a cat eye, which I love. Ugh. Okay, right away, do you hear this? It's the sound of cheap plastic and I can hear it from a mile away. It's weird, these ones are not the same quality as the ones prior. I don't know if it's the matte plastic, I don't know what it is, but they're different. 
Also, instantly on, this gold detail, which off looked really good, looks a little chintzy. Not the biggest fan. Now, when it comes to the shape, I love myself a cat eye, but these are very exaggerated. If anything, they look a little too proppy for a 50 or 60s movie set. Once again, these would look really good on a rounded face or a more oval face, something that doesn't have as strong of lines as mine does from my cheek down. A beautiful stranger is more of a beautiful mess for me and, and they're not gonna work. Okay, let's, let's hope the next two pairs are better. The next glasses are called the Art Heart glasses. They're pretty cute and they're $69. I already love the price. Right away, they are a cat eye, which I love. And they also have, can you see this? This gold detailing on top, similar to the beautiful mess. I mean, not a beautiful mess, a beautiful stranger, but a little bit more subtle than that big extended, that big, <laughs> it wasn't that big, but that gold detailing on the other ones. I love the shape of these. They are oversized, not too oversized, but they fit the proportions of my face really well. They have angles on the side and then drop down into a rounded bottom, but not too rounded. It still has a little bit of angle, so it's going to offset the roundness on my chin. Now these would work for a number of face shapes because the lines aren't too strong in any one direction. So I'm definitely gonna table these ones. These are, these are pretty great. Okay, do we have a winner? These are called the Feline Fine and they are, they're pretty fine. First of all, true to the name, they are cat eye, which I love. I love, I love. It's a little exaggerated, but still great for everyday wear. Someone's not gonna look at these and be like, you wore those every other day. I also love the lines and the shapes in them. They are a great combination of sharper and softer lines, which help balance my face. They are not too long, so they don't visually elongate my face. If anything, they're even a little bit shorter, which is really flattering for my face. So if you have a very short face, these ones may not be the best option for you. I also really love the color. Now, when picking your pair of sunglasses that will flatter you the most, you wanna be sure of the colors that you're choosing. Should I pull these up? <laughs> Can you take me seriously with these on? If you have warmer skin tones or warmer tones in your hair, this is a time where you are gonna wanna mimic that in your sunglasses. So these have a really pretty tortoise color that help bring out the amber in my hair. That being said, the opposite also applies. If you have cooler tones in your face and in your features, then you're gonna wanna find a pair of sunglasses that also have cooler colors. These are gonna be your greens, your blues, and your purples, even your blacks. Another thing that I really love about these glasses is the logo. A sign of cheap glasses is no logo at all. But that being said, I also don't like it when designer glasses have these huge logos on the side saying Dior or Versace. So these glasses have a nice subtle logo that I really appreciate. All right, I have to choose between two pairs of glasses, which I'm happy. I'm happy that I have a choice. This is a good problem. Help me choose, what would you do? We've got the Air Hearts, which have a beautiful shape, a really nice gold detailing and flatter my face quite well. They are $69. And we also have the Feline Fine with a more exaggerated cat eye, great coloring that complements my skin tone and beautiful lines as well. I'm, I might have to choose the Feline Fines. I mean, for the price, $79 for a good quality pair of sunglasses that flatter my face and my coloring. I mean, it seems like a pretty, Pretty big win on my part. I just, I love them. If you are also in the market for a pair of sunglasses, I have linked these ones down below along with a couple others of my favorite. I hope you feel more educated and prepared as you go to buy a pair of sunglasses that will flatter your face the best. And me and the felines will see you guys in Hawaii. Ah! Bye guys.